Hello and welcome to a new video about Internet of Things. This time we are going to talk about our first Internet of Things application, our first Internet of Things server. We are going to talk about the so-called MQTT. It means Message Queuing Telemetry Transport. So, M Q T T message queuing telemetry transport. Okay, telemetry, metry, measurement, tele. Remote, remote measurement, transportation, yeah. MQTT, what is this? MQTT, there is a MQTT server somewhere. Huh? This MQTT server is called broker. Huh? MQTT broker. Why broker? Because it's trading, it's trading with information. Yeah? And there are the MQTT clients. Yeah? There is not any specification what are the clients. Yeah? This can be embedded system, this can be sensors, this can be normal computers, this can be mobile handheld devices, mobile phones, something like this. Yeah? So these are the clients. Client number one, number two, number three, whatever. Each client may public a so-called topic. Okay, so there's a topic topic which might be transferred to the MQTT client. Topic. This topic contains of the name of the topic and the content of the topic. This is not totally specified, I mean, it's specified, it's not just a number, it can be a text also, yeah? the topic. The topic name consists, it looks like a little bit like, uh, you know, a directory. Yeah? So you, there can be, for instance, uh, living room, slash couch, slash occupation. Occupation zero, sit down, occupation, the topic changes to the value one. <laughs> so another one sitting down, two. Another one sitting down, too much. <laughs> yeah. A little bit more serious, maybe, I don't know, hydraulics. Accumulator. Pressure. And there might be another topic, hydraulic, accumulator, temperature. So this is to structure it a little bit. Okay? So the, to the topics, topic names are usually structured. So these topics are transferred published by a client to the MQTT broker. They might tell, hey, please MQTT broker, retain this. Uh, there is a retain flag. Then the MQTT broker is storing this. The MQTT broker is anyway storing the information. Yeah? So the MQTT broker has always the full information content of all the clients, of all topics which are published. Uh, the MQTT broker knows. Yeah. And other, yeah, so this is called topic publish. This one topic can not only be published by one client, but can be published by several clients. Does not really matter. Yeah. It's not bound to one client. This is the topic, if a client is allowed to publish, it can publish this topic. Yeah. All of them. Yeah. And then there is the possibility of subscribe. Yeah. Then 
in this direction. It's also a topic and I call it subscribe. So a client can subscribe to a topic. If the client is subscribing, for instance, to hydraulic accumulator pressure, every time this topic is published new, yeah, the client is getting information that, hey, new value. The broker is actively sending this information to all subscribers. So if we subscribe a certain topic and there is something new about this topic, we will know about it. We will be get informed by the NQTT broker. And now it makes sense that a lot of clients might publish one bot topic because if the topic means turn on something and I have several control stations, then I can turn on this something from all the several control stations and one is subscribing this command turn on yeah, and this will get the command turn on yeah, regardless of from what, from what uh, other station it is coming. Uh, Publish and subscribe. Now the retain flag. I said the client might ask the MQTT broker to store it. Yeah? If the retain flag was set during publish yeah, and a new subscriber is interested in exactly this topic, yeah, it will immediately get the information. That's the difference. If you subscribe a topic and this is not retained, you will get information about this topic by the next update. Okay? When it's updated, when it's published the next time. If it's retained, you immediately get back the last known value. Okay? And the client might also, also uh, publish a topic which shall be sent if it's no longer there. Uh, so rest in peace message or something, a last will, it's called last will. If a client is dying and the MQTT broker does not have information about it, it may send last will to any subscriber. So, this is publish and subscribe. And now, what makes this MQTT really strong is that it can cope with really bad network situations. Really bad network situation means that since the broker is holding all this information, this is usually not a big issue. Okay? However, there might be dropping something. Yeah? And there are then three levels of quality of service. Yeah? There's the quality of service. Us, yeah? level zero, yeah? this means at most ones. What does this mean? This means if something is sent with quality of service zero, it's sent once. If it does not reach its destination, here or here, doesn't really matter, if it does not reach its destination, it's lost. Okay? Then there is the quality of service. One. This means at least once. A topic is sent as long as the communication partner got an acknowledge. Send you a topic, you acknowledge, I've received a topic, thank you, passed. I send you a topic, I don't hear anything, I send it again and I send it again, and I send it again. This means yeah, it might be, it might be uh, handled twice. Yeah? Because if, if the topic has reached its destination, but the acknowledge doesn't mean, you will get it a second one, and a third one, and a fourth one, or whatever. Yeah? Until I receive the acknowledge. Okay? This is quality of service one, at least once. Yeah? And there is then QS2. Exactly once. This means I send it, you receive it exactly once. Yeah? 
Yeah. This is taken care by the protocol. However, this has the most overhead. Yeah. This is using quite a lot of network. Yeah. This is using at least network resources. Yeah. Balancing again. Again, it's about balancing. Okay. So this is how MQTT is working. There's a broker holding the information. There are topics which are structured. Clients may publish topics, clients may subscribe to topics, subscribers are informed by published topics. Yeah. New subscribers are informed even by topics which are in the past, if there is the retain flag set. Different level of quality of service, this is how this is working. And that's, that's it, you know. You may also subscribe to a family of, of topics. Yeah? You may also subscribe to Hydraulic slash Star. Then you subscribe to everything about Hydraulics. And each, each topic might also have, uh, a client might also have a, a last will, which will be sent to the subscribers in case the client is no longer reachable. Message queuing telemetry transport. This is the first thing we are going to use. We are going to use an MQTT broker. We are going to use Mosquito on a Raspberry Pi. How this is set up, there is a video about this. And we will use our, our device here to communicate with the broker. How we do this will then be in next video. There we will bring our little thing here to communicate with an NQTD broker and publish stuff, subscribe stuff also. Yeah. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.